Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, with Kakadash, and don't want to see those great meals so I'll let you truth. And also to the old filet that's scattered abroad, I'd like to say shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So tight day lesson is, for their calamity shall rise suddenly. So I'd like to say shalom to all our listeners. I hope this will be today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I'd about it, we are here. And I'd about it, the new world order is coming into play. And I'd about it, this global reset, this digital uh, 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 society is getting ready to uh, come upon us. So our way of life is getting ready to change overnight. This is getting ready to be a what? A third world country. And I'd about it, a lot of people are still not believing still don't have the faith, and we are here. It is at the door all of a sudden, and out of all hell is getting ready to break loose in the middle of the Lord. We constantly sign and cry left and right. It is here, and out of it is coming upon us at a fast pace. These evils are growing all around us. Bible prophecy are coming to a life left and right, and out of it, in the middle of the Lord, we're constantly sounding along. We're constantly blowing the trump, and out of it is that, you know, hey, we are here. Everything is here. It's everything just lining up just like clockwork. So everyone will have to make a decision very soon. You know what I'm saying? And I about it, either you're gonna be a part of this B system or you're gonna be a part of your house by Hashem Yahweh Shah. But the Lord said he's only coming back for what? That 130 let, the one that stayed loyal to him, the one that's constantly doing his will, the one that's constantly signing and crying, ready to get out of this nightmare. And I about it, we are here. So you're getting ready to make a decision whether you want to make it or not. So all your unbelief is getting ready to be in vain. You know, all the playing games are getting ready to be over. Because now about, we're at the beginning of sorrow. Jacob trouble is getting ready to, what, to kick off. And now about it, that, hey, it's going to be a time that we have never seen before in our entire lifetime. And now about it, the Lord is getting ready to bring that judgment. We constantly warn you left and right, even though that we're sounding like a broken record. But now about, we are here. You're getting ready to be what? Well warned. And now about, Warning what before destruction. So the title of the day lesson once again is for their calamity uh, shall rise suddenly. So we can start with the word calamity. Before we open up the lesson, we get the meaning of the uh, uh, word calamity. Before we open up the lesson, one moment. And uh, when you look up the word calamity, and it it uh, and it reads, it said an event causing great and often sudden damage or distress. A disaster, uh, and uh, a few uh, examples are disaster, catastrophe, tragedy, uh, cataclysm, uh, uh, crisis, uh, adversity, uh, uh, tribulation, woe, affliction, evil. Uh, see what else we have? Accident. Uh, see what else? Mishap. And I did about this day. You know, death is coming upon us at a fast pace. Great affliction, great persecution, you know what I'm saying? And I did about it, you know what I'm saying? And great what? Death, you know, and great sorrow is coming upon us. At a fact, it's going to be a, a lawless time. And I did about it, we're constantly preparing you. We're constantly telling you left and right. And I did about it, warning. And I did about it, you know, we're keeping not silent each and every day. All of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? These calamities are growing each and every day. We're seeing that, you know, December the 13th, they're telling you. You know what I'm saying? That's when all here are before we'll break loose. And out about it, we constantly warning. It's time to seek the Lord. It's time to pray, watch and be sold because we are living in these times. And out about it, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Great death, great destruction is right upon us. And out about it, you know what I'm saying? We're at the boiling point. And out about it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the signs of the time, they are here, left and right. And out about the middle of the Lord, we go over and over this. But that about it, the Bible is repetition. You know what I'm saying? We constantly warning you left and right. You're being well warned once again. And out about that, we are here. And out about Jacob's trouble is getting ready to what? To kick off. So now, let's open up the lesson one moment. Just a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let's go to uh, Second Edges. We can start in Second Edges chapter one moment. Let's get started in Second Edges chapter uh, two. Second Edges chapter, no. Second Edges chapter eight, Salakia. Second Edges chapter 8, and we'll start at verse uh, 50. Second Edges chapter 8 and verse 50. And it reads, For many great misery shall be done to them that in a latter time shall dwell uh, in the world, because they have walked in great pride. 
So a lot of people are walking in great pride, you know, thinking of themselves. You know what I'm saying? A uh, love of many is waxing cold. You know, a lot of people are, are not considering, you know, are not being circumspect. A lot of people are going on with their daily life, still thinking that they have time, still thinking that everything is going to be all right. But all of a sudden, you know, the destruction is constantly coming upon us. This evil time is growing all around. You're getting the, the warning cries left and right. We have blown the trumpet. And everybody, you know, they're telling you about this digital currency coming in December the 13th, telling you about this di uh, uh, dictatorship, uh, uh, our government is getting ready to come up, uh, upon us, Tartarian law, unrighteous decrees, you know, martial law, you know, great persecution, FEMA camp. A lot of things are coming down the pipeline. But that about because you were that rebellious house that did not want to return. And that about you, you getting ready to get great misery. You know what I'm saying? Great persecution, great death, great destruction, great mornings. You know what I'm saying? And that about it. We constantly warn you left and right. And that about it. the Lord is only coming back for what? That one third uh, elect. And that about two thirds of our people are getting ready to be cut off and down inside. Great misery is getting ready to fall upon you. You know, pestilence, you know, monkey pop, the mirror bird vibe. Also, that RFD, what? Microchip, which in fact is what? The mark of the beast. All these things are coming down the pipeline, whether you believe or not, whether you are, 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 are thinking that you're not going to be a part of this, it's, this is getting ready to be a what? A global event, a world crisis that you have never seen before. We are here. It is at the door. So our, our old man is getting ready to riot all of a sudden. And out about all hell is getting ready to break loose in the middle of the Lord. We constantly sign the crap because these are the times that we're living in. We are here. Woo! We are here. And out about that. After this, the kingdom of heaven. And out about we cannot wait. So now let's start back. I don't mean to be rambling. Uh, <clears throat> one moment. Let's read that again. Uh, second day of chapter 8 and verse 50. Let's read that one more time. One moment. And it, and it reads, said, for many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time, which is now, shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And that about it's a lot of people still are not considered, still are despising and mock. And that about you getting rid of a lot of great misery, a lot of calamity, a lot of catastrophes, a lot of crisis. You don't say get rid of before, before you, great affliction, great persecution, great death and destruction is right upon starvation. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people going to eat one another. It's going to be a lawless time. And I'd about, we constantly warn you left and right. And I'd about, will you be prepared? And I'd about it. If the Lord is not dealing with you, you will be totally destroyed. So now let's drop down to 2nd Daniel chapter uh, 8 and verse 6. And it reads, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them and were unthankful unto him which uh, prepared life for them. Verse 61. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. And I'd about judgment and recompense is at hand. And I'd about because what? You walked in great misery. And I'd about all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Because these evils are constantly growing. They are rising. And I'd about it, you know, we at the breaking point. And I'd about the, the devil is getting ready to show his hand. And I'd about that. We constantly warning you left and right. So that about is that, you know, we're in these times. And I'd about that, you know, a very dark time, a perilous time. And I'd about it, you know, it's time to pray. It's time to watch. Ask the Lord to have mercy upon you. Brakatha Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, the water Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh. Ask the Lord for mercy. You know, it's ask the Lord to direct your step each and every day. You know, be thankful. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and be humble. You know what I'm saying? Humble yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I'd about it, you know, and ask the Lord, Lord, have mercy upon me. Because I'd about it, these evils are constantly growing left and right. For their calamity shall rise suddenly. And I'd about it. We are here, and out of that, all hell is getting ready to break loose. So now, let's go to uh, 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 Isaiah chapter 30. One moment. Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah chapter 30. One moment. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 30, and we'll start at verse uh, 1. And it reads, Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And I did about, you know, a lot of people are constantly, constantly being reprobates, constantly being good for nothing, constantly uh, repeating things that, what, is displeasing to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh, homosexuality, you know what I'm saying, seeing this pay of fear, you know what I'm saying, people are uh, hating their brother, killing one another, you know what I'm saying, and I did about constantly trusting in oppression, trusting in their what, their, their enemies, and I did about, you know, they constantly Piling sin upon sin. And the Lord is getting ready to what? To judge his place. Judgment is at hand. And out of all of a sudden. So now let's start back up. 
uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 2, uh, the walk to that walk down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves. And in the strength of Pharaoh, which in, in, in the modern day uh, so-called white man, and to and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, which in fact is uh, is you know what I'm saying is is uh, is a modern day uh, AKA Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? We're still in the land of our captivity. Verse uh, three. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. And I had about it. You know, a lot of people are trusting in this fallen system. Trusting in AK Babylon Grid. This place is what? It's constantly what? Collapsing all around us. And out about, you know what I'm saying? The economy is getting ready. What? To crash. The end of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? This new uh, 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 pseudo sign is getting ready to come into play. Uh, injectable, programmable, digital. All these things are coming to pass. You know what? Pseudo sign. AI, all these things are coming. Lying wonders. And out about, a lot of people are getting ready what? To die. In a great number because what? They walked in what? Great pride. And the Lord's getting ready to judge. And I bet we cuss you one all of a sudden. So now let's start back up. Let's drop down to uh, uh, verse 12. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 12. And it read, Therefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise the word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay their own. Verse thir uh, 13. Therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, uh, swelling uh, out in a high wall, whose breaking comes suddenly and an instant. And out about all of a sudden, all hell is getting ready to break loose. And out about because you're not paying attention, you're walking in great pride, you're selfish, you are what? Covenants, you know what I'm saying? Being lovers of yourself. And out about it, you're, you're, you're not thinking about your true power. You're thinking about yourself like you had did it all yourself. There is no free will. We are all doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai out of its good or bad. And the Lord said, I formed the light. You know, as he created what? The good and the evil. And everybody said, you know, it's no escaping the hands of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It shall come to pass. Now, let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes. One moment. Ecclesiastes. One moment. Ecclesiastes. One moment. <clears throat> chapter 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. And verse 11, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. And it reads, I returned and saw under the sun uh, that that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither uh, yet bread uh, to the wise, nor yet riches uh, to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of, of, of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. And I had about it, you know, it's not how you uh, 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 start the race, how you finish the race. The same that endure, the same shall be saved. And not everybody know, all of us are caught up in what? In time and change. You do not know the time and the hour when you will what leave this earth. Only the Lord knows that. That's why we must always be what? Uh, signing crime. We must always what? Watching, praying, and being so, you know, asking the Lord to have mercy upon us, being humble. Being a, a meekness and out about it, you know, helping your brother out. You know what I'm saying? And out about it, you know, all of us coming under his good grace, the best of our bits. And out about that, we are here all of a sudden. So now let's start back up. Uh, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 9 and verse 12. For men also uh, know that uh, his time, uh, Salakia, verse 12, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 12. For men also know not his time as uh, the fishes that are taken. In a evil net, and as the a bird that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in a evil time when it uh of uh, 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 falleth suddenly upon them. And I did about it, you know, that evil net is coming around us. What is that? That new world order, you know what I'm saying? The WHO, you know, it's coming uh in tuition very quickly. And I did about it, they're getting ready to try to feel it better. Who is that? The devil that the Bible speaks of, the so called white man. You know what I'm saying? Not about these things are coming at a fast pace. So don't get caught up in that net. This new world order. What? This RD match chip, which in fact is the mark of the B. What? This B system. That is that net. You know, they're trying to trap you and they're trying to what? To make you a petrol slave. Also destroy you. And not about it. You know what I'm saying? It's time to seek the Lord. It's time to trust and believe in your house. By Hashem Yahweh Lean not on your own understanding, but trust and believe in your house. By Hashem Yahweh So when all this 
great death and destruction come and this evil time come. You know what I'm saying? We trust and believe in the Lord. The Lord will direct our step. The Lord said he will deliver us and also he will preserve us in these times of trouble. And we ride upon those times. So now let's uh, go to uh, one moment. Let's go to and also Jacob's trouble is right upon us. It's, we are here. It's just that very close. We are at the door. So now let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to second Aries chapter uh, 16. Second Aries chapter 16. One moment. Second Aries chapter 16. And verse, one moment. Verse, uh, verse 18. Second Aries chapter 16 and verse 18. <clears throat> one moment. And it reads, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And I had about it, for their calamity shall rise suddenly. And I had about it, we're here. They're already talking about famine all across the world, droughts, you know what I'm saying? Flooding all throughout the entire world. And, you know, AK, Babylon, Greek, all these calamities are coming upon us, these crises, you know what I'm saying? All these different uh, 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 catastrophes. They're right upon us. And out about all of a sudden, they're constantly what? Rising. These evils are growing. And out about, we constantly tell you, Lever, and this is getting ready to be a global event that you have never seen before. The beginning of sorrow, you know what I'm saying? Great death, great mourning. And out about, you know, war, you know, rumors of wars are all over the place. And out about, we already know that AKA Babylon the Great will be destroyed with the IBCM missile. And out about, every hand of the wicked is getting ready to turn on this red devil. And out about, you know, they are hating the whore. And also, Keep your eyes upon Israel all of a sudden. And out about it, it is getting ready to happen. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, hey, everything is going to happen all of a sudden, just like he said he will what? Come like a thief in the night. And we cuss the warning you left and right. We are here. And out about it, we're warning you left and right. And out about it, we must ask the Lord each and every day. Lord, have mercy upon me. And out about it, because we're going to need him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the only way and the only answer. And out about it, whoo, this is the way. Walk ye in it. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to uh, Luke. Let's go to Luke chapter 21. One moment. Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. Something I want to get out of here. Luke chapter 21. And we'll start at. Let's go to verse. Uh, let's go to verse 30. 34. Luke chapter 21 and verse 34. And take heed to yourself, lest at any time your heart be overcharged with, with the suffering and the drunkenness and the cares of this life. And so that the day come to you unawares. Verse 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. And I about it's coming at a fast pace. This new world order, this global reset. And out about this digital society, you know, it's an AI pseudoscience, you know, these lying wonders. And out about it, you know, we must not be worried about the cares of this world. We must be, well, what? Always keep our eyes on the pride, which in fact is what? The kingdom of heaven. And out about it, it is right at hand. And out about it, we knowing that judgment is coming upon us. Great tribulation, great persecution, great death, and what? Also great destruction. A great desolation. You know, this place is getting ready to be destroyed with what? With that fervent heat. And out of that, we're constantly warning you left and right. So, you know, it's coming at a fast pace. All of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? They are constantly rising left and right. And out of that, just pray, watch. You know what I'm saying? Be humble. You know what I'm saying? Because we're living in these times. And out of that, you know, walk accordingly. And out of that, because the Lord is getting ready to what? To bring that what? That judgment. We're right upon judgment. Judgment is at hand. So now, let's go to our last and final script. We'll close out in Proverbs chapter 1. We'll close out here. One moment. As I, I mean, so like Proverbs chapter 1. We'll start up at verse 27 and we'll read down. And it reads, when your fears comes as desolation and your destruction comes as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish comes upon you, verse 28, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. And I about it is time to seek the Lord right now. Why he can't be found. The grace and mercy period is here now. And I about but the door repentant is closed. And I about when your fears come, when your desolation come, that means that when they come in with this what? December the 30th, uh, I mean December the, the 13th, 
They're coming, you know, with their agenda, with their what? They evil what devices. And out of that, we constantly warn you left and right. So that'll be a lot of people gonna be fatal. A lot of people gonna give up the ghosts. A lot of people gonna be in great desperation. And a lot of people ain't not gonna what? Help the, the faith. And they're gonna what? Line up like clockwork. And out of that, the Lord said, you're gonna call upon him. You shall seek him early, but you shall not find him. Because what? You was that rebellious house. You did not consider. And out of that, you will be totally destroyed. So now, Let's start back up one moment. Uh, Proverbs chapter one, and we'll start back up one moment. We'll start back up at verse 29. For for they for for that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. So a lot of people are walking in a great pride because what? They do not fear the Lord. And that about they're not considerate. And that about they don't even don't want to care about who their true power is. They still trust in the strength of Egypt. Uh, AKA Babylon the Great. This place is collapsed. And also the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? He loved, he loved this so-called white man, which in fact is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And you love him, you're getting ready to what? To die with him. And I about we constantly warn you left and right. We read upon judgment. And I about great death and, and, and destruction is right upon all of a sudden. Boom, just like that. It's getting ready to be a global event. And you know, and the trouble is gonna be, and the evil is gonna be all across the world, the four corners of the earth. And I about the Lord is getting ready to cleanse this place and set that righteous kingdom forever and forever. And I about we cuss the warning you left and right. All of a sudden, the evils are constantly just, man, I mean, all around. So you're getting ready to make a decision whether you want to make it or not. So now let's start back up. So a lot, a lot of people are still in despise, are still uh 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 a mock in the sky, but these things are getting ready to cease. And out about that December the 13th, everything is getting ready to be will cease. And out about that's when a lot of people will call on the Lord. A lot of people will be considered, but it will be too late. So now let's start back up. Proverbs chapter one. We'll start back up at verse of 30. They would they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Uh verse 31. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Verse 32, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of food shall destroy them. Verse 33, but whoso hearkens unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of the Lord. That is the elect, the house of David, the one that constantly stay in loyalty. We will be in the what? The secret place of your house. By Shimmy Shah. And not about wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. That understanding, you know what I'm saying? This gospel. And not about we holding fast what we have. And not about we knowing that all these things are getting ready to uh, come upon us. You and man, a lot of people are getting ready to be taken in a great number. And not about that, you know, we are here. It is at the door. And not about it. We cuss the warning left and right. And not about it. Hey, we are here all of a sudden. All hell is getting ready to break loose. Once again, we constantly warn you. Warning before destruction. For what? For their calamity shall rise suddenly. That is the title of the day lesson. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha I'd like to say, Shalom.